Can you make a set for me? You know what I mean? And it's uh, an English company that are making this DVD. And of course, this was it. Yeah, you take your time, right? <laughs> Look at him wandering in. Oh, it's a DVD. I'll make sure I'm on it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them all slicked up. What did you go over there? Were you waiting for action, were you? Oh, you're going to arrive in now. Sorry, though, I seem to be the opening act of the DVD. <laughs> Look at you, with three women as well, you. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there. Are any of them your girlfriend? Do you have any of your girlfriends? Well, well you just partner. She's not a dog. <laughs> How weird is that? This girl here, she is. <laughs> you're a good girl. Aren't you a good girl? <laughs> There's no way you're even nearly married to that girl. <laughs> Isn't that right, lads? You want to try and pass a long time, girlfriend? <laughs> See how long it lasts. Well done. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How's that in the face? It's like... Well, you're not told to come back by that lovely girlfriend of yours. Now, make sure you're back on time before it starts. Wait in the edge until it starts. <laughs> no... Make sure you're back in the seat before Jason comes on. Stand at the corner <laughs> until the telly switches on. It's amazing, man. Well, you're quite, you know, I mean, you're quite a good looking fella and all. You're quite, well. where's he from? The, the girlfriend. Are you his girlfriend, by the way? You are, yeah. How long are you going out with him? Two years. And is he okay? He's like, yeah. You're kind of special. How old are you? You're, what are you, about 20 or something, are you? You're 20! Oh, my God! I'm 34! Can you imagine me on top of you? What a... How horrific is that? All right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. You'll be all right. <sighs> cramp, cramp. Where's the wall? Where's the wall? Sorry, love. We're not normally like this. It was great when I was 20. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean that. I wouldn't... You know, hey! Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I'm pouring. Anyway, yeah, because I used to work in a warehouse, so they just went, there's a warehouse. That'll do. Yeah, loads of boxes. There, now. There. Fuck you. That's your set. <laughs> but I am, you know, I, I'm, I'm married. How many people here are married now? Just one woman? Did <laughs> you see that? Look, yeah, just me. <laughs> Where's your husband? Oh. It's a, your friends are shouting at you. What did you say to her? I just said, I said nothing. <laughs> oh my god, you're sure still saying it. So, where's your husband's nice lady? We don't care. We don't care. Would you let her speak? <laughs> See that fucking women, you don't even let each other fucking speak. Where is he? He's at home. How do you know? I'll speak for you. <laughs> you're a gobshite, Siobhan. You wouldn't know what's going on. 
You need me here tonight. <laughs> but I, you know, I am married. So you're, how long are you married then? What did you say? What? Nine and a half years. Nine and a half years? And your husband's at home. Is he at home with the kids? One child. One child. <laughs> is, is that an answer? What the fuck is? <laughs> uh, one child. <laughs> but the last time we counted, there was one. Do you have, like, every day you have to count your children in case there's more? Uh, one child. <laughs> right, I'm off out. I'll see you later. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I am. I mean, I am married. It's amazing. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And you aren't married the last day. Look at all the lads at the table here. All right, the stories. The four stories. <laughs> well done, lads. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Dublin. Dublin. <laughs> so you're from here. Brilliant. You see the information you get out of women, it's amazing. How you married? Nine and a half years, exactly. And this lady, oh, two years with this fella. Yeah, brilliant. Where are you from? Go, uh, go <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be questions. <laughs> Quite so many questions. We just, we just wanted to go out and have a laugh. And he's all from Dublin, are you? No. Loud. <laughs> Did you say loud? Can you not hear me? What the hell is that? Uh, loud. You're from a place called Loud. What is it? That was the amazing place to live in. Morning! Good morning! Are you going to the shop? This way! Just a quiet fella on the corner. I guess I'm Dublin. I'm not upsetting anybody, am I? <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I didn't know, like, when I got married, I didn't know that when you moved, how magic women's heads were. Like, my missus, like, she used to tell me that when she was 16, she used to pretend she was in a coma. That's what she used to do. In her bedroom, all magic and lovely. <laughs> and she'd put balloons around the beds, right? And she'd dream, and imagine that she's holding Tom Cruise's hands, right? <laughs> and that when she wakes up, he'll marry her. Sixteen, most blokes were waking up like this. <laughs> oh! What am I gonna do? I have to go down for breakfast. <laughs> Get down now! <laughs> you go down for breakfast. <laughs> And he'd get to the kitchen door, except you'd get through it after about a four foot of your cock. <laughs> kitchen door would just open, and then you'd go in. <laughs> and your mother going, Mind the kitchen table! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mommy! <laughs> Watch the delf! <laughs> and he'd go to leave for school, he'd be standing there going, Mommy, will you take the washing off me, will he? <laughs> Because it dries so quickly. I'm only joking, though. <laughs> if there is any uh, young men here, don't be worrying. That does not actually happen. I don't want you thinking that tomorrow morning you're going to be waking up when your mother's going to knock on your bedroom door with a basin full of washing and some pegs in her mouth. Oh, morning, love. Did you have a nice sleep? Did you really? It's crazy. Isn't the way the blood rushes up and down there? All the creases just fall out of it. <laughs> God, I remember being in school like that, you know? All the lads just standing at the wall like this, <laughs> terrified. All the women trying to get to class like Indiana Jones. All the cocks all lined along like that. <laughs> Girls trying to get to science. Jeez, I better go to science. <laughs> Thing, you know what's brilliant is that you know do, do you remember making love for the first time that man do you do yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah yeah that didn't take long you see the way men we never forget it only ever happens about once of course I remember I'm still using it where did you make love was it was it with your girlfriend that's your which girl which girlfriend it was your first girlfriend no way really 
Don't you love blokes' heads? <laughs> Who are we with first? The uh, first girlfriend. <laughs> That's what I made love to first. <laughs> or was that the second one I made love to? <laughs> Who did I lose my virginity to? <laughs> so what, what do you, what, you're quite a big fella, aren't you? Uh, look at him like I go, yeah, I'm a big fella. <laughs> how, well, how old are you? 28. And what do you do? Trailer. You work in a trailer. Trailer. You work in a trailer. In a trailer. As a trainer. Oh, as a trainer. I thought you worked in a trailer. I'm thinking, weird is that? You're just in a tiny horse's trailer on your own. Busy, 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 busy. I'm, I'm, I'm just knocked off my feet. I think I'll go over to that part of the trailer. So you're a trainer. What type of trainer? Like football? Like that kind of? Or like that kind of? That kind of? I don't know what that is. <laughs> nice bit of hip training. What type of training? You work in a pharmaceutical plant. What in the name? I can see all the women in the audience just dying to hop into this conversation to save it. Uh, I'll hop in and tell you exactly what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> That's why women can't relax at fucking cocktail parties. They'd be standing in the corner going, is that right, Siobhan? Is your vagina doesn't match your head anymore? Is that right? <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Mr. Gobshite just said something. I won't be a second. You standing there going, uh, a trailer. <laughs> trailer, yeah, pharmaceutical trailer. <laughs> the wife could uh, he, he's a trainer in a pharmaceutical company. He trains people how to sell drugs, all right? <laughs> anyway, go on, Siobhan, you were saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, but that be well done. For how do you train? What do you do? You showed them what to do. Well, well done. <laughs> if there's any, if there's any tourists here, I apologise, right? The Irish aren't actually really like that, right? <laughs> what do you do as a trainer? I showed them what to do. <laughs> Your interview must have been fucking fantastic. <laughs> and what do I do as a trainer? Show people what to do. <laughs> you're in, you start on Monday. <laughs> you probably don't even know what you're doing in there. Uh, can you uh, do put that drug over there? Very good, very good. <laughs> Are you standing? You're standing there. That's very good, very good. If anybody wants me, I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> it's like... But the magic... The magic of all the women's heads, I didn't know this, you know what I mean? All of you with your magic head, with your special secret head. <laughs> If there's any young single men here, be careful of women, right? Because they're evil but brilliant. We need them, but they know what they're fucking doing. <laughs> they're like Venus flytraps in the wind. Just swaying there with their special smells. And their lovely colours with their mouth wide open. Come on over here and have a sniff. Don't you come a little bit closer? <laughs> Look, I've got little bits here. Would you like to touch the bits? <laughs> Do you want to touch the little bits? Come on in a little bit closer. Then. That's it. Just rest your head in there. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Find me at church now. <laughs> but the magic with the heads. Is that, you know what I mean? Because the ladies will just go, I'm going to make sure my first time of making love is going to be the most special time I've ever had in my life. I'm not ending up like that slut Sarah in the lane. <laughs> That's what you do, you map it out. You know, you're lying in your bed going, oh my God, here he comes. Here comes my special man creeping up the stairs with his big strong arms. He cups me out of the bed very gently and takes me down the stairs. I'm hanging off the edge of his arms. <laughs> I'm half awake and half asleep. What's happening? 
I know it's wrong, but it's kind of right. What's happening? Where is he taking me? It's so beautiful. And then he takes me and he puts me on his horse outside the house. And he gallops away. But the horse doesn't have any shoes. Quietly, don't wake up the princess. he gets to a meadow and he takes me off the horse gently and puts me on the soft grass and my clothes melt off like chocolate (laughs) and he goes across me climbs up on me and touches me with his feathery hands taking his time across my body taking his time (laughs) take your time That's it. Touch the boring bits first. <laughs> yeah, stroke my belly for a few seconds. Don't grab me knockers already. There's legs at the end of that vagina, you know. <laughs> yes, kiss the earlobes, that's right. And in the distance, the woodland animals are looking on. <laughs> you look at them. Isn't that beautiful? I've never seen anything so romantic in all my life. That woman is making love perfectly. But the reality of it is, is you get into bed with your fucking first mate and he just stands over you going, what do you want? What? What do I do? What? How's that? Will I just slap us? What do I do? Do a bit of twisting. What do you mean? What? Slowly? Fast? How's that? I don't know. Here, I'll hit it again. Will I hit it again? Here, I'll tweak your nipple. Here, how's that? I'll tweak your nipple. What are you crying for, for God's sake? (laughs) That's not the way it's supposed to happen. Beautiful women. (laughs) Oh, I love how they're looking at me now going, Eh, no. (laughs) You don't do that at all, shithead. It's just, there's four look good looking fellas though there. Well done though. Are you married, the loud guy? Are you married? No, I'm 22. <laughs> what in the name of God is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, I'm 22. <laughs> so why aren't you married? No, because you've no fucking girlfriend. <laughs> Standing at the church with all your family. There's something missing here. I can't put my finger on it, but there's definitely something that should be here. I'm 22 and I'm not married. What's going on? Come on, this way. That's a good boy. Come on, come away from the altar. Do I need a girl? You need a girl, yes. But I do, you know, I have, I have a, I've got a dad. You know, he's brilliant, my dad. He's typical old Irish gobshite. Do you know what I mean? Just won't... Fucking, he will not move into the modern world at all. I had to try, try to set him up with a direct debit with the broadband, okay, right? And I said, yeah, what you have to do, Dad, is you've got to give your account number over the phone. He went ballistic! <laughs> what are you serious? What are you mental giving your bank account over the phone? Jesus Christ, they'll be down here in five minutes. They'll take everything from the house and your mother will be sitting in the garden in her fucking knickers. <laughs> Oh, do you know what he did at Christmas? This is great, right? Oh, my God. He's always... Oh, do you know what he said? Is, oh, yeah, oh, my God, it's all popping into my head. He said to me, Here, do you know what? Right? Do you know this thing on the telly, on the hair on the telly, that if you find protected species in your attic, like bats, you're not allowed to touch them. So my dad's advice to everybody and everybody at home is don't fucking tell anybody and whack them with a fucking brush. <laughs> He's such an Irish idiot! <laughs> what would you be doing ringing up people telling them there's a bat in your attic? <laughs> Go in there and cream the fucker off the wall! 
but he had, you know, and, he, and this is what I did at Christmas, right? I'll never forget this. Right? At Christmas, okay, it was just brilliant, right? This was like about two Christmas ago, right? He was sitting there, right? He, had, he has fallen arches, but he doesn't because he's about 60 odds and he just has to come up with some sort of shit, right? <laughs> And he came into the room with his cane, right? He has a walk and stick. There's nothing fucking wrong with him, right? He's just going in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everybody look at me. I'm nearly dead. Look at me. Look at me. (laughs) Nearly dead. Life is shit. Life is shit, right? And my mum had all that kind of garland, you know, that Christmassy stuff on the mantelpiece with cards and statues, right? And my dad hooked the walking stick on top of it, right? And then sat down to watch the telly. Then five minutes later, he needed a piss, right? So he stood up and instead of logically taking the walking stick up and off and moving, right, he just kept it there and dragged it off, right? All the cards went into the fire and the statues smashed on the ground, right? And you think like any other dad in the world would just go, oh my God, what have I done? I'll help you. No, typical Irish gobshite, just walks off with his walking stick, right? Ignoring everything, turns around though and says the classic line, well, that was fucking bound to happen, wasn't it? And you pulled it off, you Mickey. <laughs> so I love wrecking his head, right? So I got him one of these, right? These are great crack, okay? I got him one of these, okay? <laughs> and you have to do this. If nobody's done this yet, you have to get him one of these, okay? I got me daddy. Because you know the iPod and all, he doesn't understand. Why does vinyl not fit on something like that? It's the devil's work, right? So I got him this, this food scales, and told him it was an alarm clock, all right? <laughs> he was going, oh, Jesus, thanks very much. That's a lovely present. But you want to see him trying to set it. It was... Yes. He was there with me, mother going, right, we need to get up at seven, right? <laughs> up at seven. Oh, hang on a minute, this has gone back to 12. <laughs> this is broken, this is broken. Look, seven, 12, seven, 12. Ah, for fuck, where did you buy this? So I told him I bought it in Dixon's, right? <laughs> and the fucking Egypt brought it back, right? <laughs> Running into this, go, what the hell uses this alarm clock? No, no, 12 7, 12 7. That is the most useless piece of shit I've ever seen in all my life. And then he takes this out of the box, right? And he goes, and you see this solar panel? That's fuck all use. But the great, oh, you know it's great crack with this, you know it's brilliant. How many single men are in this audience? <laughs> Three. <laughs> yeah! Just us rubbing off the women in the dark. <laughs> it's very handy getting this, you know what I mean? Because cause when, when, you, when you are young, you know what I mean? It's very hard to pick up women. Because our mum and dads, when they were younger, it was very easy. You know, they went to dances with their big beaver hair. And <laughs> I meant up there. <laughs> Some woman just said, oh, beehive. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Fucking Information. <laughs> Fair play to you. <laughs> Even in the middle of a DVD, a woman still has fucking time. Uh, it's beehive. <laughs> Going out with a beaver haircut. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Women on the dance floor just like this. Broken. <laughs> Do you like to dance, would you? I like me beaver hair, but it's lovely. I've been growing this for seven years. There's a few bits of food stuck in it, but don't mind that. I'm oh, sorry. I think my mum is here as well. She is. But you know, it's great though, because our mothers went to dances, it was all fine and lovely. Let's go for a dance, lovely. And the father went, let's court on Monday, lovely. Mm-hmm. Lovely, right? And then in the 80s and the 90s, we basically, my age group, were able to chat up women and do slow sets, which was lovely and civilised. No, up for the slow set, a little bit of tit, and a bit of... <laughs> and then we got married. Lovely, right? But now nightclubs, there's just mental noise all the time. Like, do you want to dance? What? What are you saying? Do you want to dance? Get away from me, you weirdo! So bring this, lads, okay, right? And we go up to the girl and go, do you want to dance? If she says no, just pop it under your balls like that, right? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, do you want to have a little think about that, do you? 
Look at the weight of these babies. And that's... It looks like I've got a graphic equaliser on me cock. Hello and good evening and welcome to my trousers. <laughs> Can you imagine getting into bed with your wife frying the crap? <laughs> Hello, would you like to have sex with me? <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Only the blokes probably thought that was great. <laughs> blokes are so stupid. Look at that. We think that that thing going around that fast is cool. <laughs> How fast that needle goes around that, that's fucking mental. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I love this thing they got me. Look, I said, will you put me in a face towel into the box? <laughs> there we go. Look at the size of that. <laughs> it's pretty Ireland, isn't it? I think me ma must have done that. Give him that proper towel. <laughs> I'll give him a tidy towel. He won't know where he is. He'll freeze his ganoogas off. <laughs> She's like a big bad towel, isn't it? Lovely big bed towel. Gee, that's brilliant. Here, when's the last time you wrapped up like a baby? When's the last time with you? Here, here, come on, I'll wrap you up like a baby. Come on, here. Come here, come here. Come on, stand, stand up. Come here. Come here. I know, I know. Here, I'll fall, I'll weigh you, I'll weigh you. <laughs> Will you look at the bee? This isn't embarrassing at all. No, stop, stop. <laughs> Here, wait, hold on to this, right? Here, I'll wrap you up, right? Okay, you ready? Okay, this. Are you wearing fucking. Look at him wearing flip flops! <laughs> look! <laughs> oh my god! It's the summer! <laughs> I, he just said, it's the summer! <laughs> that is beautifully gay, it's so nice. <laughs> look at your toes! Our feet horrible, look at that! <laughs> That one's broken. Which one? Which one? Oh, here, wait, we'll weigh you here. Come on, we'll weigh you like a baby. Heavy, you won't be heavy for that. Watch. Okay. Right, should be honest. <laughs> what is he? What is he? Nine pounds! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Okay! Let's sing him asleep! Oh, to get it now! Rock my Fella, though, as well, and he's not married. Have you, have you not got a girlfriend? Jesus, girls, he's got lots of lots of. Look at this. She's still cheering. <laughs> Let's do it. I have, though, I have a, I have a son, you know. It's crazy. How many people here have got children? Do, what? No, that's brilliant. I can't wait till the men go home from this fucking gig. I believe we don't have any children, is that right? Yeah, well, you can go into the jacks and wank yourself into a cup for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I said that. What a weird thing to do. 
for, for, for God's sake. All I got was a mug. I love this. Look, people trying to creep around. Look. Is this a game of chasing or something? What's going on here? That's the shittest game of chasing I've ever seen in my life. Look at the two of them. All right, go. You're on. What are you doing? We're playing Bendy Chasing. <laughs> Bendy Chasing, what's that? Nobody can see us because we're bent. I love that when people do that, they think they disappear. <laughs> so when you do that in the cinema, jeez, I need to go to the Jacks. If I stand up, people will see me. I know exactly what I'll do. <laughs> That's me gone out of the picture. It's amazing, you know, how hu and the, the way humans do that, you know, especially, oh my God, the Irish are amazing at that, aren't they? That weird thing. You know, it's, it's amazing. When you shout at somebody, you go, Tony! And they can't hear you, you go, Tony! As if that is going to make any difference. <laughs> I know, Tony can't hear me. I'll use my amplified hand. <laughs> Tony! Tony just keeps on walking. Tony! My God, what was that? Did anybody hear my name being called from afar? Tony! <laughs> or the best one, the best one has to be the soundproofed hand. When someone's standing right there and you're about to talk about them, <laughs> do you think they can't hear you if you put up your soundproof hand? <laughs> Have you seen that bitch next door? <laughs> She's right beside you. Well, she can't hear me. I have my soundproof hand up against my mouth. There's no way anybody but you can hear me. It's only the right side of this can anybody hear. Not this amazing soundproof hand! <laughs> the worst one has to be, who the hell is that down there? Oh, yeah! <laughs> what? There wouldn't be any work for opticians if that fucking worked. Can you read the bottom line? Uh, a, B, no. Oh, hang on a second. X, B, Y, Z, F. I have a magic hand. But then when you walk out... When you... You walk out of the opticians and you just go, that'd be 20 euros. I said, that'd be 20 euros. What? Oh yes, I have caught the words in my hand and I'll pour them into my fucking ear. <laughs> but I do, I have, I have a son, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Everybody going, no, yeah, get the fuck out of here, that body is, get the fuck out. <laughs> the two girls go to the toilet together. That always confused me. I never really realised what that was all about. <laughs> Why do they go to the toilet in pairs? It's because Siobhan doesn't like sitting on the dirty toilet. She just goes, she likes to hover over it. While Michelle holds onto her hands. That's all right, love. Lean back. I've got you. I'm going down, Michelle. It's all right, love. Lean away. I have you. <laughs> She's going down. You're my son. Yeah, right. He's great, you know what I mean? He's an amazing little kid, you know what I mean? He's nearly six now, right? And he's an only child, okay? So we had to get him a dog, okay? And like, we're trying to have more kids, but my wife won't let me near her, so it's quite difficult, right? <laughs> she just sits across the room going, just throw the sperm at me, don't touch me. <laughs> I will see how we get on, all right? <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, so we had to get him this dog, right? It's an amazing, right? We had to get him this dog, because he had a rabbit before that, but it died, all right, okay? And what happened was, well, he didn't actually die. My, my father-in-law killed the rabbit, all right? Yeah, he didn't go like this, not like a loud, <sighs> there you go. <laughs> he actually, right, he put it into a shed in the summer, last summer, and it suffocated, right? Yeah, ah, oh, but I couldn't give a shit, right? Because rabbits don't make any noise, so fuck them, right? <laughs> He didn't call out for a second or knock on the window. He sat in there like a gobshite and died. If you got a dog, if you got a dog and locked him in the shed in the heat, two seconds he'd be going, roo, 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 knocking on the window, roo, roo, roo. he'd open the door, he'd come flying out going, <sighs> that 
was not funny, all right? I nearly died in there, do you understand? But not the rabbit! He sat in there on his own like a gobshite. I should shout out. I seem to be blacking out. Jesus Christ. Just. So we had to get my son a fucking dog, right? So we got him a King Charles, right? A King Charles dog, all right? Now, if nobody knows what they are, they're like those little cuddly fucking idiots, right? They've got big floppy ears, big wide eyes, right? A lovely little face, but they are stupid, right? And they're invented for kids, right? You can punch them in the face and they don't mind, right? <laughs> That's what they're like, because six-year-old kids will try to kill dogs, no problem, right? Because they just think, just get another one, it's dead, hooray! <laughs> Look, his head fell off, whoops! <laughs> so we got him this dog, right? Oh, God, it was a brilliant dog. Like, it's an amazing thing, right? You know what I mean? He, they just accept their shit life, right? He's already spent half his life upside down in my son's arms, right? Just hanging like that, with his tail in the air, right? Just wagging away in my son's arms, right? And poof, oh, that's the table there, right? Okay. I suppose this is my life. I might as well just accept it. I kind of hurt, all right. Poof, oh, that's the radiator. That really hurts. Amazing, you know? So we got this one. My son does this thing to him, right? That from a distance it looks okay, but up close it's horrific. He pets him really hard, right? Slowly and hard, real evil, like the devil, right? He gets him on the right, he just pulls his head up like that. And the dog's looking around going, eh, hello? Can somebody please sort out this situation? Me eyes, I gotta end up on the ground. Okay, now the top of me head's going up to me neck. And my son's on top of him, right onto his spine then. And the dog's gone, ah, my spine. And then my son's going, pop, you fucker, go on, pop, pop. So this is what happened, right? You have to be very careful, right? I was in the living room, right? And my son was sitting with me and the dog was in the kitchen, okay? In the kitchen, right? And my son suddenly went, eh, daddy, can I go and get a glass of water? I went, okay, don't touch the dog, though. I, what? What? I would never touch a dog. I love the dog. The dog's my best friend. Mm. <laughs> he went off, right, into the kitchen. Two seconds later, all I heard is, <laughs> I go, oh, what has he done? And he's six, right? Six-year-old kids will not run and hide. They'll come to you immediately to clear their name with a shit story, right? <laughs> and that's what he did. All I heard is, Arr! door open. Oh my God, Daddy, did you hear that? Did you hear that, Daddy? Did you hear that noise? Whoever did that, I'm going to kill them, Daddy. Oh, my God. Right, first of all, I wasn't even in there, was I? No, I wasn't. I went out this bathroom window and uh, out the back and I was looking at grass and then I heard a noise. Oh, my God. Daddy, there must be some other man in here. He must have hurt my doggy. Where's my doggy? I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. And out behind me, son. Do you ever see a dog in shock? Holy shit. 
It's the funniest, most horrific thing you'll ever see in your life. The dog just stumbled out, just looking at us, going, <laughs> <laughs> All he needed was a cigarette. That's all he needed. <laughs> if you gave him a cigarette, he would have taken it. And <laughs> Thanks very much. I can't cope with this shit much longer. And as the dog passed me by, I noticed there was half a toy car sticking out his arse. <laughs> and the dog, you want to see him pointing at his arse, because dogs have no fingers. For ages, he was going, hello, 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 hello. And with his tail, hello, 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 hello. If he could speak, he'd be going, there's a Ferrari up me hole. And his son stood there, just looking, going, oh my God, Daddy, look, he must have sat on that. <laughs> hey, he's all right, lads, it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Are you okay, man? What's your name, guy? Peter. Peter, good man, Peter. Did you make him or something? What the fuck is that? Hey, my name is Peter. <laughs> I am enjoying the show. Thank you for asking me here. <laughs> Peter from Dublin. This is all what happened when I asked him where he's from. The lads at the back have got the controllers. Dublin. <laughs> did that work? It did, it did. <laughs> are you from Dublin? Anyway? What, are you a doctor or something? What are you doing then? You are a doctor. What? No, you're not. Are you a doctor? Yes. No, no, I'm not yet. <laughs> so what do you do? Manager. You're a manager. <laughs> a manager of what? Uh, Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> what the hell happened there? <laughs> Some woman just sounded like she got stretched. <laughs> What are you doing to me? We're just stretching your love. You said to stretch you at this time. I'll tell you what we'll do, right? Okay, well, what was your name again? Peter, here, come on up here for a second. Give Peter a round of applause. Here, give us a hand, Peter, right? Come on up here for a second, right? Stand there, Peter, okay? And here, I need your help as well, right? But just, here, help her. Oh, God, I'm afraid to touch her. She's got no clothes. No, don't you fucking lift her. Oh, shit. Will you just fuck, get her there, will you, you fucking bastard? Careful, groping, don't be groping. Right, this is what we're gonna do, right? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna play, right, Peter? Peter, you stand there, Peter. <laughs> Peter from the Action Spencers. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> right, and I'm not gonna touch you because my wife's here. So I'll just push you over there, just go over there, right? This is what I'm going to do, right? Here, you hold this, right? We're going to play a game, okay? Hold that there, right? Okay? I will have another mic for you. Where's the other mic for this? What's your name? Anya. Anya, good. <laughs> Hi, nice. <laughs> I am, my name is Anya. I like chasing and rabbits and flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the happy youth and the miserable elf. <laughs> Leave me alone. I am Peter. <laughs> My name is Peter. Please do not offend me anymore. <laughs> well, we're going to play a game. Have you ever played a game before, Peter? Uh, it depends on the game. It depends on the game. Have you ever played a game before? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down here with that. Come on down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down here. Get down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get right down. Get right down. <laughs> Me and Anya. Why can't Peter play? <laughs> Peter wants to play on the ground with the other people. Okay, get up there, right? This is what we're going to do, right? We're going to play a game called That's Not a Badger, right? And what you win is fucking nothing, right? <laughs> now, this game, right, is very simple, right? Okay? When you see a badger, you say badger, right? Okay? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> not you! Isn't that brilliant? I love the Irish. When you see a badger, badger! <laughs> Right, Arnie, get up to the mic, right? Right up to the mic. Don't be afraid of the magic stick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, my God, the filth 
of the Irish. <laughs> Magic stick on you. Oh, fuck. Uh, here, you can just do Freddie Mercury impressions. <laughs> Who is he? I don't know him. I'm only six. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Peters is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking hold. <laughs> okay, right, okay? Now, when, now, this is very simple, right? When you, when you see a badger, you just say badger, 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 right? When you see that, when, you, when it's not a badger, shout out, that's not a badger, and you win a point, okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay, and start, go! Badger, badger. good. Badger, good. Badger, good. Badger. Badger. good. Badger, good. Badger, badger. good. Sound badger. badger. No badger. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. What do we mean, no badger? <laughs> what the hell did you say? It's not a badger. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a badger. That's not a badger. That's what I said. Oh, is this? Oh. <laughs> this is like having me dad and me little daughter on stage. <laughs> That's it, no badger. <laughs> That's no badger. <laughs> when you see that fucking picture, <laughs> say, That's not a fucking banging. No, no badger. <laughs> right, we'll do it again, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going fucking nowhere. This is right. <laughs> right, here we go. Ready? And... Badger. Badger. Both of you! <laughs> Go! Badger. Badger. That's a good... Badger. Good, 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 good. 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 That's a badger. One out! One out! <laughs> Indeed, it's not a badger. What is it? It's a... Ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs> Look, it's a sheep, it's a and sheep. you're from the country. It's a ram, you fucking idiot. Look at all the farmers, they're too busy selling their land for houses. <laughs> Look at that. That's obviously a sheep at some time. <laughs> I remember that before the housing estate was built there. <laughs> right, it's one all. Let's go, keep it going. Badger. badger. Well done, well done. It's not a badger. That's not a badger. No, I think if you look right here. A real badger, though. That is definitely a badger right there. Sorry, still one all. Keep your eye on it now. Keep your eye on it. And... Badger. badger. Good man, good man. Badger. badger. Good stuff, good girl, good girl. Badger. Good, good. Badger. <laughs> badger. OK, good, good, good. Badger. Good, good, good. Badger. Very good, very good. Badger. Very good. Badger. Well done! <laughs> Extra point! It's just... <laughs> It's a dead badger on a sporran. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at you. This is not compute. <laughs> Could not compute as a badger. <laughs> what is that for oh, fucking badger? Right, here we go. Right, it's 2 1 to you. You get that for the same badger, because he didn't, right? Go on, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. We'll have chocolates and swimming. Right. <laughs> here we go. And go. Badger. Badger. Oh, very fucking good. <laughs> Badger. Good, good, good. Nearly there, nearly there. Badger. Good, 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 good. Badger. Oh, you have a little bit of fuck. Right. Badger. Yes! <laughs> she's dead. Three <laughs> nil. Because she's getting the bonus points, right? <laughs> Sorry. Why are you blowing into the mic? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? <laughs> You've been waiting for years to blow into a mic, have you? He's like, I can't wait to get to Vicar Street and blow into a mic. <laughs> right, here we go. I keep it going, and it's 3 0. Go! Badger. badger. Right, keep it going. Badger. badger. Could we go on? Badger. badger. Keep it going. Oh, fuck. Badger. No, That's badger. a badger. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Will you look at him down there, you feckin' idiot? <laughs> this is the last one, right? It's 4 0. This is it, right? <laughs> It's fun. Yeah, to Anya. I know, I know, you mad bitch. Right? <laughs> to Anya. I hope we win to something. 
Right, OK? This is it. This is, you get four points for this last one, right? OK, ready for this turn and flip? Right, double points. Here we go. Last one. And... No, Badger. No matter. He's in the house, just in there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Neil, for Neil! <laughs> Come on, back down, give him a round of applause, yes! That <laughs> Normally that game takes about five minutes to play, I apologise. <laughs> that was fucking bad. Badger, not bad, don't know, help. <laughs> Oh, God. Here, I've got to go down here for a second, because I have this... Uh, look, at I love this. Everybody goes, oh, Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> I love it, because what I've done here, if I haven't gone only one stage, but I actually managed to fucking put in another stage, because people at the back always think they're fucking safe. <laughs> onto that fucking... <laughs> Who the fuck put this here? Look at you putting your coat up. Look, fucking look at that. <laughs> that's brilliant. Ah, oh, that'll do. I put That's the coat. That's the cloakroom, obviously, right there. Look, he can have the game. What? He's trying to what? Rob the box. He's trying to rob the box. <laughs> He's trying to rob the box, everyone, by doing this. <laughs> Fair play to you, man. I'll have that now. <laughs> I'll just walk out of here and nobody can see it on for a fucking second. <laughs> That's brilliant, man. It's not actually here. Will you fucking hold that, will you? Look at the lads. Look at the two of them hiding. Don't be fucking hiding, all right? <laughs> No, but you can see me. <laughs> I'm hiding. Look at that. I'm glad you sat at the back. Fuck that shit. <laughs> this is amazing. Look. Oh, how he's all here. Right, this is good. What? Oh, fuck. Sorry. What did that woman just went? Hiya. <laughs> Look at the telly. Say hello to the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Ireland. Hello, telly. Where's the telly? Did you see the telly? And what are you fucking sitting backwards for? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Turn around, enjoy yourself, you miserable little shit. <laughs> is this really yours, is it? Where's the sticker? Where'd you stick it? What? He's a joyrider. <laughs> yeah, well done, the fucking Muppets up at the top there. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> what the fuck have you got in here? Your ma? Oh, sorry, I apologise. <laughs> sorry, man, I'm dripping all over this. You've got Brazil on this, have you? What's it? It's not a towel, is it not? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's your name again? Joe. Joe. Is it really your name, is it? Look at he's on the doll. Don't we're not walking here, right? <laughs> Joe on the doll in his Brazil top with his fucking L that his ma gave him. I love fucking Irish mammies. Aren't Irish mammies the queens? Aren't they? <laughs> Hooray for Irish mammies! Because you can do what you fucking want when you're an Irish son! Yeah! Look at that good man Joe kill the wives! <laughs> if I rang up my mother and told her I'd just stab me wife in the face, right? <laughs> I'd vote for sure that she would turn around and go, Jesus Christ, are you all right? <laughs> Oh my God, that suffering bitch is always looking for attention. <laughs> Did she throw herself on the knife? That fucking hooer. I'm not joking. I haven't heard enough from that fucking cow. Oh my God, you only got your new carpets in as well. <laughs> Just the poor fucking carpets, you bad bastard. <laughs> oh, do you know what I did as well, right? Is there any English people here? Is there any English people here? Yeah. Over there? What? Who is? Look at them all rotting on that poor woman. Yeah, over here. We caught one. <laughs> what part of England are you from? That lady, what part of England are you from? Where? Birmingham. New York? <laughs> Where? Oh, York. <laughs> would you be posh then, would you? You do, you look fucking fantastic. It would be. Look at your teeth and all that shit, look. 
That's not fucking fair. Look at the half the fuckers around here. Look <laughs> sitting around because of the bad weather that normally hits us. Jesus Christ. I haven't got any teeth. Have you got a horse, York? Have you? Do you have a pony? I bet you do. I can just see you arriving at the gig. Quickly, I've got to go to the gig. Let's go and see what the poor Irish people do. Oh, my God, look, a fucking warehouse. I should have known, bloody patties. All right, I'm going back up here. Wait a second, here. I've got to do something, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to bring it out, ladies and gentlemen. Where is it? <laughs> you have no idea what that woman just did to me. <laughs> she just tapped me on the arse and went, well done. <laughs> There's nothing like being tapped on the arse and going, well done, you were very good. <laughs> well fucking done. <laughs> Do you mind if I root your hole for a few minutes? <laughs> Jesus, you did very, very well. Congratulations on being out there on the box. I loved it. I hope you have a great fucking night. It's like... Oh, I'm fucked. I gotta do this, I gotta do this thing, right? Just... <laughs> I have to introduce, I have this other guest, right? Are you ready for another guest? Are you ready for another guest? Are you ready for another guest? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here, I need to fucking, I need this thing here. Here it is here, pulling it on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give a big, huge, oh fucking hell, <laughs> he's behind there. Ladies and gentlemen, give a huge, big round of applause for the smallest comedian in Ireland, Mickey Delaney, give it up, give a big round of applause, come on! Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need to, I need the mic. Here, can you get the mic? You, you, the big fella. Can you get the mic? Get the, get the mic. Come on, give me a round of applause. Get the fucking mic. Come on. No, get up, you lazy bastard. Get me the mic. Quickly. Take it off the mic stand. Take it off the fucking mic stand. <laughs> Sit down there. Sit down there and hold the fucking mic. <laughs> Sit on the ground. Right, that's it. Now hold it up properly. Not that close. <laughs> too close. Too close. Hold it up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like it, do you? <laughs> do you like a bit of that, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> right. Look, hold it up, fucking to me face, you prick. <laughs> my fucking face. He's sticking it in me face. Well, I'm sticking it in your face. <laughs> Number one joke. <laughs> this boy. <laughs> this is my fucking job. Do you know that? <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> I have to do this shit for a fucking living. <laughs> Sitting down there with your off licenses and your fucking county loud, and where the fuck are you going, you bitch? <laughs> oh, you're sitting on that side, right? You weren't satisfied with that, were you? Fucking pay attention. <laughs> the illusion is broken. <laughs> and now. Who 
Little bit more gentle, a little bit more gentle. Is this on? Is this on? <laughs> is this on? What? What's it? Is this on? Is this on? I fucking love this. <laughs> there was a little boy in a classroom. And the teacher says to him, I want you to put the word contagious into a sentence. The little boy said, Every time my dad cuts the grass, it takes the contagious. <laughs> Joke number fucking two. A man, a fucking man, a man. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear some woman go, stop it. <laughs> stop it, you're hurting the dog. <laughs> Where's Jason gone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> From the country. <laughs> they said, they said, where do you think you're going? You're not allowed into the nightclub without a tie. <laughs> so the man said, right, I'll go and get a tie. And then can I come in? He goes, yes, go on and get a tie. <laughs> and when you come back, you're allowed in. <laughs> so he went away and he went to his car and he got a set of jump leads and he tied them around his neck. <laughs> he went back to the door and then. <laughs> He said, can I come in now? And the bouncer said, yeah, but don't start, Anton. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> is this on? Is this on? <laughs> My fucking back is killing me. Well done. Last one. Last one, last one, last one, last one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the last joke of this session. <laughs> a salesman knocked on the door and a little boy answered it. The little boy was smoking a cigar and had a brandy glass in one hand, drinking brandy, and he's wearing his father's smoking jacket. And the salesman said, is your father in? And the little boy looked at him and said, does it fucking look like my fucking father's in? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Nicky Delaney, give it up, yeah! Fucking oh, hell, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Look at that. I love the Irish people as well. When that broke, he went, ha ha, fuck you. Yeah. 
But I did, as I say, I am, as I say, I married, right, you know, and, and I don't know, it's tough, you know, and, and a lot of ladies, you're quite hard, you know, but lads, if you're brave enough, I want you to do this, right, get one of these, okay, this is the best fun ever, right, get one of these things, okay, barometer, thermometer, whatever the fuck it's called, right, it only costs about a euro, okay, and if you're brave enough, right, and your wife called you home for an argument, right, pop this in your back pocket like that, right, hide it on her, right, and when you open the door, and if she greets you with, you are a shithead, I can't believe you, I hate you, I wish you were dead, I can't believe it, my mother was right, I hope you fucking die, right? <laughs> if you're brave enough, I've done it, it's fucking terrifying, just whip this out at that very moment, like that, in front of her face and go, <laughs> Temper, temper! And watch! Just watch the men that do that the next morning going to work. <laughs> she didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> yeah, and she stuck it in me hole. But as I was saying, you know what I mean? It's mad, you know? Begging for scraps of sex, you know? Because, like, we have, we, as I say, we've got a little boy, you know what I mean? And when he goes to his granny's, that's when I think I'm going to get some sex, right? Because when you have kids, it's very hard to have sex, right? It's not fair. Young people in young relationships that aren't married with no children, you don't care. You don't have to plan your sex. Not like me. Right, he's going at four. I'll meet you at 20 past in the stairs and I'll fucking ride you, all right? <laughs> not young people, you don't care. Into the bedroom, come on! Burn me bra and punch me up the hole. Yeah! It doesn't matter! But when you're married and you also make a major mistake, if nobody hears with a girl, right, I'll tell you one thing. Be careful of the ladies' heads because they uh, don't know... You just don't know what they're going to be doing next because their emotions are mental, right? They'll be sitting on the couch with the same expression like a fucking ticking time bomb, right? They might as well have wires underneath their chin just sitting there looking at you going, Ooh, what mood am I in now? Oh, be careful what wire you cut. I might explode! <laughs> and the other mistake that men make, don't get your wife or your girlfriend drunk and think you're gonna have sex with her. You're adding fuel to the fire, right? <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it quickly, right? Get her hammered in the restaurant, right? The restaurant is a fantastic place to get the girls hammered, all right? And another thing I didn't realize, when you get married, women can float. What a fantastic fucking thing that is! You know when you're at home, on your own, watching your special movie with your trousers around your ankles because you're very hot. <laughs> and your wife comes home early, but she sees you and decides not to come through the door, but through the letterbox! <laughs> oh, let's see what he's up to. <sighs> Even if you're watching the telly upstairs, she'd be floating outside with the leaves and the trees. <sighs> looking in at you. <sighs> But if you get them drunk, get them drunk in the rest. I was in a restaurant as well. And by the way, ladies, I just want to tell you this, right? When men are in restaurants and we're looking around, we're only looking for the exits. That's our fucking instincts, all right? We're not looking at other women! We're sitting there, you know, I was sitting there, my wife, right? And I was just talking to her like that. Next minute, I looked around like that, right? And in seconds, she just floated up in front of me here. <laughs> right in front of my face going, eh, hello, but the fucking dinner is over here, all right? Not in that girl's tits. <laughs> so, if you're going to get them hammered, right? <laughs> make sure you go through all sorts of motions. Make sure you get them drunk in the pub and right then the restaurant, then into the taxi. Make sure you have booze there, and make sure you have booze at the door, right? Or a straw coming out of your fucking elbow into her mouth. Okay, keep them drunk. Make sure there's gin all the way up the stairs, right? <laughs> make sure you've got wine all over the bedroom, right? Because if you leave them even for a second to go to the jacks, you're going to come back to a mess of a thing on the bed, right? She would have left you like this. Oh, see you in a minute. <laughs> you go to the toilet, you come back to somebody just threw a grenade in her hair, right? <laughs> Mascara all over the place. Her lips over here, looking like a Picasso sitting there. <laughs> I hate you! 
emotions. I can't stand you. You're a shithead. Come over here. Make love to me. I love you. Touch my tits. Don't you fucking touch me. Touch my tits. Don't touch me. I love you. Fuck me. I love you. Don't touch me. My mother was right. Mm, my belly is ready. Lick my belly. I want to fuck it. Don't touch me. Ah! <laughs> But the thing... This was it, right? I could not believe this happened to me. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy when you get married. So, are you married, that guy down there, with your ring on your thumb? Oh, that's quite odd. Okay. Where, where are you from, nice guy? County Wicklow. Good man. So you've got a bit of money then, have you? Which part of Wicklow are you from? Greystones? Look at... Look at all the working class people that are here. Ooh. That's where I go on holidays. <laughs> that bloke must work in my resort. <laughs> Greystones is a lovely beach. Isn't Greystones the one with no sand? Is that that one? Yeah, you fucking prick. <laughs> Come on out to the beach. I remember doing that with my, with my when I was younger, me ma. Everybody out to the beach. Come on. That's not a beach, ma. It's bricks, you mad bitch. <laughs> Get on there and enjoy yourself. Your father's only off for two weeks at this time of the year. The kids playing football with bleeding feet. <laughs> Pass the beach ball, Thomas. Yes, Jason, no problem. <laughs> Mommy, your feet are bleeding. Just keep running around. In a few years, it'll be turned to sand if you keep pressing it in. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, I'll tell you this, right? For, I was in England, right? In England, in, near York, right? Okay. Well done, that lady. Thanks, thanks for saying your English. Fair play to you. In amongst all these fucking mad Republican fuckers. <laughs> all sitting here. There's an English person here. <laughs> Don't mind them. They'll be right up to you at the end of the gig. You all right for a drink there, are you? <laughs> Believe you have a horse. Give us a ride home. <laughs> well done, lady, though. But you're quite, you know. And are you English as well, the lady beside her? No. <laughs> are you posh as well? No. Fuck. You are posh. I've never seen... Uh, no, I'm not posh at all. This is my friend from York. Why would I be posh? I love posh people. They lo I love you. These are brilliant. They're always running around in the nip, totally naked. <laughs> running around the house all the time. Look at me. I look fantastic. Quickly. Somebody draw my vagina. Quickly. Draw. <laughs> Quick talk, come and draw my vagina. It's just a natural vagina. Just draw the fucking thing. Look at that. Draw it. It's a natural phenomenon. Draw the fucking thing and draw it like you fucking love it, Harper. God, I can imagine doing that around my house. <laughs> me ma and all. Man, get the fuck away from me. You can draw me knee and then fuck off. But when I was in, I was in, I was in England, right? Are you, would you be, are you a Protestant then? What would you be? Yeah, look at how brave that's brilliant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look at everybody reaching for the rosary beads. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed a bead, go back. Oh, I missed a bead, go back. What bead did I fucking miss? <laughs> I didn't realise how amazing your religion was. I'd never been or I'd never met a proddy ever, right? And I was in England and I met one who actually his dad was a vicar. An amazing bloke, right? And he told me, right? I didn't realise that you, they don't have Jesus up on the cross in their fucking church. Not like us guilty, ridden, bastard Catholics. Every time we go to Mass, he's hanging up there going, Look at the state of me! Look at me! I'm fucking in a mess! I've got thorns all out me and blood coming out me fucking hands, you shitheads! And I'm up here because of you fuckers! <laughs> Not in their church! They just come in and they go, oh my god, look at that, fantastic, nothing happened here. <laughs> more mulled wine, Tarquin, more mulled wine. <laughs> How are the Catholics these days? Very, very guilty. They're building us in the church tomorrow. Really? Yes. Or I'm going to set them on fucking fire. 
But the great thing is, right, he was telling me, what a brilliant bloke, he was telling me that his dad used to tell him lovely, proddy stories, right? All about Jesus coming in. And Jesus was in the garden, and then he met everybody else, and it was all fantastic and happy, and la la la, and religion is a nice fucking thing, right? Not when I was growing up, or when you grew up in a fucking Catholic household, <laughs> you were frightened out of your shit every second. My ma used to kick the door open and go, Ah! Don't be touching yourself in the dark, you filthy little shit, do you hear me? Because if you do, Jesus will be coming through that wallpaper. He'll take his thorns off and rub them on your balls till they bleed. <laughs> then she'd go outside the door and then come back two seconds later and go, well, I need the landing light on. Is that all right? <laughs> but no. But when I was in bed, right, with the wife, right, I tell you this, this toe, I can ne- I'll never forget this as long as I live, right? I was sitting in the bed, right? My son was away, right? For anybody who's a new couple, there's no more love making when you're married. If the door's ajar, kick it open and get in there, right? <laughs> there's no rubbing or chocolates or flowers or, oh my God, you look lovely. And where do you want to go? A special, 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 right? <laughs> if your missus turns around and goes, ready, steady, go, you fucking go, right? <laughs> There's no fucking hanging around going, like dinner, because that just fucking ruins shit, and then they go off the mood. When the fucking thing's on fire, get in there, quick. <laughs> so I was lying in bed with her, my son was away, right? I was lying in bed with her, right? And I turned around to her, and just out the top of my head, I just went, OK, let's have some sex. And she turned around, she went, OK, yeah, no problem. OK, we will. On one condition, if you go to the toilet and clean your willy, right? <laughs> that sounds horrific, yeah? Not to a married man. You don't care what your wife says to you. I was up out of that bed. I was standing at the end going, are you fucking serious now? <laughs> if I go to that jacks and start cleaning me knob, I'm back here for some serious sex. You're not going to fall asleep now, are you? And she's going, no, get in there, clean it. You'll be fine. Go on, get the fuck in there. Loving it, clean your knob, no problem, get in there, right? And I went into the suite, onto the, into the en suite, I was holding it open with me fucking dog, cleaning away like this. Shiny, shiny knob. Somebody's getting it tonight. And then she shouts in, and your arse, and me arse. Cleaning everything, coming back in, smelling nice. Don't you soap, that gives me a rash. No soap, that gives you a rash, right? Shiny, shiny knob. <laughs> Can you imagine saying the same thing to your wife or your partner? The world would end <laughs> if she got into bed beside you and how about a bit of sex? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. As long as you go into the Jackson empty that skip, you filthy bitch. <laughs> Right, that's enough of that shit. <laughs> I have never heard anything like that in all my life. I can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> Especially with my wife here going, Oh, I believe I have a skip, is that right? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be emptying that myself from now on, shithead. You'll be in the shed rubbing off the dog, and I hope you fucking die with the rabbit, you prick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming to the show. Give everybody a round of applause to join in. Holy shit. One step. Oh.